Hi everyone, my name is Igor and welcome to my channel. So a few days ago I was working on another video and I was printing some test models when this happened. Yeah, this doesn't look right at all, if you ask me. As it had turned out, the part cooling fan had gone kaput. Fortunately I had a spare one, so I've installed it and uh, restarted the print. Uh, and the first batch had completed successfully, but on the next batch I've noticed that uh, extrusion was getting worse and worse until basically nothing was being extruded and the extruder started making those dreaded clicking noises. This was a clip from the Maker's Muses, a great video about 3D printing failure sounds. Uh, link is down there in, in the description. Well, anyway, this was an unexpected setback. By the way, this was really my first major issue with this printer in about two and a half years. So, needless to say, I was a little bit upset. So, the following is a video of me fixing uh, this issue in my own unique style. First, I need to remove the hot end cooling fan. It's easy, you just unscrew two screws with a 2mm Allen key. Don't lose the plastic spacer as I did. And also hold the extruder block so it doesn't fall off, because these two screws is all that holds it in place. Now I'm gonna turn on the printer and check if the extruder motor is working. Nope, doesn't seem to be the case. Not good, not good at all. All right, I'll figure it out later. First, I'll try to pull out the stock plastic. Nope, doesn't work this way. Nope, still doesn't work. And also the plastic is pretty stubborn, so I probably need to get my pliers and also heat up the hot end. Oh well, it has snapped off. I wonder if I can push out the remainder of the plastic. Nope, it's jammed solid. What the heck? Is something burning? Yep, it's the plastic spacer that has fallen off during disassembly and right onto the hot end. Darn. Hmm, at least the extruder motor is working now. Oh yeah, I remember reading somewhere that there is some safety feature in these printers preventing cold extrusion. Oh good, at least the motor and the controller are okay. Nope, it's not working. 
I guess I will try using a nose cleaning tool that was packaged with the printer. Basically, it's just a very thin drill bit. Now, just a little bit of molten plastic. Let's poke it a little bit more. Yay! It's unclogged! I hope it works after I assemble it back. Let's turn the printer off and do a quick cold pull. Now let's put it back together. Alright, here comes the melted spacer. A little tight now, but hopefully that's okay. You need to align the holes and screw the screws back in. Alright, it's all nice and tight now. Let's turn the printer on heat it up and try loading some filament. And in it goes. Well, I'd call that a successful fix. And like this, in 30 minutes I have the printer running again. I'm pretty sure I did a few things wrong, or probably more than a few things wrong, and I've definitely messed up with that melted spacer. Anyway, the printer now works again and I can get back to the small series I was working on. Stay tuned for the first episode, which I hope to upload the next weekend, barring any other unpleasant surprises. Well, I hope you liked this video and you've learned something new or at least had a chuckle over my performance. If so, 
please feel free to like and share it consider subscribing to my channel if you like this kind of videos and of course feel free to leave comments they are always welcome thanks for watching happy tinkering and don't forget to have fun bye